Realizing jail beds are scarce and funds tight, Napa County targeted recidivism by opening a day reporting center and two innovative jail programs. Having a day reporting center is part of our toolkit, and now that we have it, I don't know how we survive without it. For really those high-risk offenders that are unemployed, if they don't have structure in their life, they're going to become reoffenders. And this provides them a daily structure and a way to change their behavior. And when we listen to the graduates, and that's really what gets me, is when I listen to a graduate say, thank you for arresting me and putting me in jail so that I could get to the place where I can now change my life and get back relationships with my children, get back relationships with my family, um, get clean and sober, get employed, get a place to live. That's exactly what we want for these folks. We want them to be productive members of, of our community. And to see that happen, it couldn't happen without this type of program. I started to get involved with the criminal justice system at a very young age, um, say my teens. I started, first started getting arrested when I was 20 years old. When I got out of jail, it was, it was fairly easy for me because I'd have these plans of that I was going to change my life, but I would never follow through with them. Each step um, was a little hard at first, and then it got a little easier. Before I knew it, I was, I was past step 12. Do you really want to engage tonight? No, don't worry. No, okay. No. We need drinks for you guys. One of her activities, or multiple activities. That one was really hard for me, because I had to take a look at the relationships that I had damaged and how I was going to go about fixing them. This program focuses on the reason that led to your crimes, you know, with the parts in your in yourself that were missing, which caused you to do whatever it be. For me, it was drugs. For some people, it's gangs. For other people, it's violence. So that that's what makes, in my opinion, this program really unique. Ultimately, we hope to reduce recidivism. That's our primary goal. And hopefully, they'll be released out there get into their employment, get to a job, or get into school so that they're doing something positive with their time. Napa County started an in-custody program as part of the day reporting center because we really felt like when someone was in jail, they were sort of at a vulnerable moment. And it's sort of in that time of crisis when you can get in and make an intervention. And what we have found is that's absolutely the truth. The people that have been most successful in the day reporting center started in custody. They earned their way out of jail. Some of them earned it out by passes. They actually got to leave the jail, come to the program, go back to jail at night. Others were just released from jail early. And they saw that as a real reward for the work they were putting into the program. And that then carried over to when they continued in the program out of custody, they were much more motivated, they were much more successful, and we have really seen it as a great way to start getting people ready for programming. They'll be on the computer for an hour where they can choose from a career skills program, a civil world program which looks at crim criminal thinking and, and thinking errors, and also a key no. train program which focuses on those who haven't okay, completed their good. GED. Um, I want you to have a working resume, and the reason I want that is because I want to be able to help you go through the skill section. And having that plan of this is what I'm going to do, here's my resume, Accurate. they get to go out with way more confidence, and I see that every day. That They'll be in a group um, called journaling for an hour, and then at the end of the day, we'll do one large group that we t call focus group that gives the takeaways for the day and, and what they got out of the day, what they were learning. And you never really, you never really stop at that job anyway, right? That's a stepping stone. Right, without really just taking an honest right. look. Right, right. And it can feel overwhelming. When we developed the program with BI, it, our jail was full. And we said, we're not ready to build a jail. We really want to do something in the long run to start changing the behavior of the offenders.